Hi friends, I am Alok Mukherjee. In this episode of Making Loudspeaker, I will show you the components which are used to make a loudspeaker. This video is for those who want to know about the parts and components used for loudspeaker. I request you to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos like this. It is free. Here is the list of components of a loudspeaker. These are cast aluminium baskets, 6 inch, 8 inch. This is 8 inch in square shape. This one is 8 inch with larger base diameter for heavy magnets. 8 inch round. This one is 10 inch this is 12 inch and 10 inch and the big one 15 inch heavy type these are Pressed mild steel baskets, lightweight, but the body resonance is higher than casting baskets. You can hear the difference of sound. In earlier days, solid block of alnico magnets were used for speakers. Pole and yoke used to be made by folded soft iron plates like this. Now the ferrite ring magnets are used by most of the speaker manufacturers. These are different size of ferrite ring magnets. Size of magnet increases with power output requirement. The magnets are in demagnetized condition now. After assembling with pole plates, these will be magnetized by a magnet charger. These are pole set or T yoke made from mild steel to be fitted with the magnet. The lower part and the top plate are fixed with the magnet. Centering should be perfect so that the voice coil can move freely in the ring shaped air gap. This hole through the center pole is for ventilation of heat generated by the voice coil. Next item is voice coil which is the heart of a loudspeaker. Copper wire is wound on a bobbin made of different materials like aluminium, Kapton, Nomex or paper depending on power handling capacity. Coil former material should be heat resistant. Paper cones are the main diaphragm which moves along with the coil to produce sound. Depending on application, the surround of paper cones may be plain corrugated, cloth, foam or rubber. The neck diameter of cones depend on power handling capacity. Cone body should be stiff to withstand power. Other materials like plastic, carbon fiber or glass fiber is also used for making cones.
Spiders are basically a spring type suspension made of cloth which holds the cone coil assembly in center position. Spiders may be flat or cup type and it should be suitable to sit in the bottom of the basket. Outside diameter of spider should be matching with the base of the basket as shown here. As the name indicates, dust cap is a dome shaped cover made of paper or cloth to cover the voice curl gap to protect from dust or small particles. This lead wire is a soft braided wire which connects the voice coil ends with the connecting terminals. It should withstand high level of vibration. This is the terminal strip where the signal from amplifier output is connected by wire. The positive end of the terminal is marked red. In some high power speakers, push type terminals like these are used. After assembling all other parts, a rubber ring or segmented foam gaskets according to the basket size are fitted on the edge of the cone. It is useful for mounting the speaker from back of the baffle. These 10 items you have seen are the basic parts required to make a loudspeaker. Different types of glues and adhesives are also required to assemble a loudspeaker. If you like to see a practical demonstration of assembling a loudspeaker, you can see the link given below in the description. Thank you for viewing.